The digital media industry, not just in Nigeria, but across the world, is growing rapidly. So on today's show, I'll be chatting with a digital media professional on this trend and how businesses can take advantage of it. Our tech tip segment is focused on how to turn on post notifications on Instagram. And finally, we have a cool gift for you on our giveaway segment. This is Tech Trends, and I'm Chukwemeka Agbata. Fans of luxury electric car maker Tesla Motors camped out overnight and stood in lines to deposit for its new, more affordable model. Would-be buyers of Silicon Valley car makers Model 3 pitched tents and set up camping chairs on the sidewalk outside Tesla stores, which began taking pre-orders for the vehicle. It's funny to put a deposit down on a car you've never seen. Um, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a Tesla and it's uh, affordable. So I'm in it for the future. Well, yeah, we have our patience here is being tested, you know. But because of our, my passion to have one, it's energy saving, you know. So that's why I'm here. I, I want this. I want. I think this is the car of the future. Another fan, Bill Putnam, said he only knew a few details about the car he was buying. A few things, just enough to get me to stand in line here, but not enough to really know for sure what I'm buying. Yeah, exactly. But we know about Tesla and all is, you know, what he's done in the past with the S and the X, so we're pretty confident that we're going to come up, end up with a pretty good car when we get our hands on it, yeah. Tesla Chief Executive Elon Musk unveils a Model 3 prototype in Los Angeles. Okay, so. The vehicle will go into production in late 2017 and is expected to cost about $35,000 before tax breaks. So do you, do you want to see the car? Yeah! Well, we, we don't have it for you tonight. I, I'm, I'm just kidding, of course. It's, it's April Fool somewhere. All right, let's bring him out. The expected price tag of the Model 3 is about half the starting price of the Model S luxury sedan, which is faster than most of the pricier supercars around the globe. The more affordable model is critical to Tesla's growth plans as it moves into a broader consumer segment. World of Tanks, one of the five most popular PC video games in Europe and the United States with 100 million players joining virtual battles in World War II era tanks, started a kitchen in the capital of Belarus. In a country better known for its Soviet-era collectivized farming, the software industry is thriving thanks to highly educated and low-cost engineers. World of Tanks, owned by Cyprus-based War Gaming, is the fifth most popular PC gaming title behind League of Legends, Counter-Strike, World of Warcraft, all produced by U.S. publishers, plus Minecraft, the Swedish game now owned by Microsoft. Despite its international success, World of Tanks developer War Gaming has kept a major operation at a high-tech park in Minsk along with a dozen other companies including US-based EPAM Systems, founded by two Belarusians in 1993. Such growth has been helped by low levels of government interference, raising hopes that it could be used as a model for transforming the stage-run economy. President Lukashenko, who once called the Internet garbage, has left the technology sector alone and now seems proud of his country's IT prowess. Hong Kong is growing as a tech center because of how close it is to the massive manufacturing hub of southern China, where goods can be made fast and in bulk. 
quite a number of tech startups are setting up shop in Hong Kong, attracting venture capitalist funding projects in this new Silicon Valley. The new flood of entrepreneurial flair is a breath of fresh air for Hong Kong, typically known for finance and trading stocks. James Ganotti, a former banker and now CEO of Odup, a firm that evaluates private companies, including startups, considers Hong Kong to only be in its infancy compared to other Asian cities such as Beijing and Singapore. Hong Kong has been a really good starting point to be global before you're local. Because Hong Kong is such a small market, it's actually a really good place to start, test the ideas, see if people actually like the product, um, so you can go global straight away. Dan Cote believes the lack of local tech talent has opened up a vacuum attracting foreign professionals to work in the city. Tech talent is very hard to find because a lot of what people are studying is actually heading towards the more traditional um, uh, occupations such as uh, being a doctor, being a lawyer. So tech talent hasn't really taken off as it has overseas, so it's harder to find talent. However, with that talent, it's actually under bigger demand because they're getting offers to work at big banks. And given the Asian mindset of working for a strong and uh, long-term company that's going to help you grow, uh, it's actually quite hard to find tech talent. Venture capitalists spent billions of dollars on startups in China last year. With markets a risky business in both Hong Kong and the mainland, many industry watchers have said the smart money would be heading into technology.